It's the first snowfall of 2018 in Connecticut. Everybody's in their house nice and cozy. Except for my husband who's stuck for the last three hours on a 20 minute drive. That's okay. He'll deal with it. I have more important things to worry about, such as this. Now, if that is not a spoiled cat, really, Clyde, can you say hi? Everybody wants to see you. Everybody's loving Clyde. Everybody's loving you, buddy. Are you nice and cuddled up? You want to cuddle up? Oh, he wants his blankie back. Oh, you guys are going to see something special now. Hold on a minute. He's going to do something special for you. Here, Clyde, there's your blankie. Go on, buddy. Do it. Show everybody what a big baby you are. Here, blankie. He starts sucking on the blanket. I got to get him worked up first. And he's off. <laughs> All right, guys. I promise enough Clyde. <laughs> he's going to town. <laughs> you big baby. I won't tell them that your real blankie is pink. <laughs> All right, guys, on with the show. Hey, everybody, I am back. I am in desperate need to keep playing with my paint. So this will be my second video for today. The one before this, you saw I was trying to pour on those placemats. I'm still waiting for those that one to dry to see what I have to do next um, if I'm able to pour on them all the way they are or if they need to be sanded first. Um, this is going to be an acrylic pour and I'm just using the same paints from the previous video. They're left over and I don't want to waste them. This is a 12 by 24 canvas. I just sold the painting so I'm very excited so I need to make another one to replace it. So I can name off some of the colors really quick for you but they are mixed in the cups already. So I have a Midnight Blue, and that is by Craftsmart, and it's a metallic. I also have these two mixed together to make a nice rust color. So I have Cadmium Red, Light Hue, and Copper. Then I also have Calypso Sky, I have Amsterdam and Turquoise Blue, that's an acrylic ink. So with this stuff, sorry my camera's going to have a hard time with the canvas because it's so white and the, the bright light, it will fix itself in a minute. So with acrylic inks, all you have to do is pour your flow trowel into the cup and put enough drops of this in just till it's colored. You do not need to do the, you know, ratios 50-50 or whatever your ratio is for mixing acrylic paint. For me, I mix my paints 75% or three parts flow trowel and one part or 25% paint. A little bit of water if it's needed and uh, the silicone. I also mixed up cerulean blue hue, cobalt blue hue, and then I have the bright aqua green. And then for the white and black, it's just this artist locked flow acrylic. That's what the white and black are. So I'm going to jump right in. 
I have the cups already mixed up. Uh, if you didn't see the previous video, the only colors I did not put silicone in were the black and the metallics, which were the copper rust color and the uh, midnight blue. Everything else, including the white, had silicone in it. And what I used for silicone was KY True Feel Premium Intimate Lubricant. This is 100% dimethicone, and I love the way it works. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, I have the back of my canvas taped up, and I'm going to be doing the good old-fashioned flip the cup fast and hope that most of the paint stays in the cup. That. <laughs> that, if you don't know what I mean. And I have a total of six cups here. It still may be too much. So, we shall see. Because I also want to add a little black around them. So, let me stop right there with that much. And then I'm going to take my black and just pour it around those areas to help it flow a little bit better. The paint that is in the cup. This is going to be a super quick video. And I'm just going to spread it out a little bit because I don't know if you guys can see yet, but there are some beautiful cells leaking out of those cups. Very, very beautiful. And I want to make sure I get the sides or the corners, I mean, just in case it doesn't reach that far. I don't want to have to stretch it more than I want to. But I have a feeling I'm not going to have that problem with all this paint that I have. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's hail outside the window. We're getting our first storm tonight. And, uh... I know at the beginning of this video, you saw Mr. Clyde all snuggled up with his blankie. He's such a lover boy. I'm getting a very big response with Mr. Clyde, by the way. So, I hope you guys don't get annoyed with cute little kitty clips at the beginning because I'm getting a lot of messages asking for more kitties. Actually, asking for for more kitties, kitties for more than my paintings. <laughs> Maybe I should just switch over to a kitty channel. It could be fun. I wasn't going to put gloves on, but it is black paint, so. All right, almost ready, guys. Almost ready. Just really want to get up a little bit closer to the couple of these cups here. Okay. I also went out to Home Depot and bought a tub. Big black tub. I think it was 20 bucks and I bought two of those thin little wood boards to put across so that I could do this acrylic pouring into that tub and just put it to the side so I don't have to keep wasting because this plastic here, it takes forever to dry, especially in the cold. So it's a pain. All right, so here we go. I think I'm going to come down a little bit. And then go whoop. Just like that. 
And I'm going to go the opposite way with this one. Go up in this way. Look at those cells, huh? Are they not beautiful? All right, this one I'm going to go right there. And then for this one, I'm going to add just a little bit more black paint over here. going to go up this way. I just kind of go where I feel. No rhyme or reason. So now I have to torch it really quick. Popping the air bubbles and see if I could draw out any more of those cells. Not that I need any more because there's plenty here. All right. And I think what I'm going to do is, let's see. Let's go up or let's go, ooh, which way do we want to go? This way? Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Slow is the way to go. This is going to be pretty. I can already tell. I don't want to lose this over here, but then I don't want to lose that. Ah! Come back down towards me. There's a lot of paint on here. I'm going to have to get rid of some of it. That's a shame. That is a shame. I think I'm going to go this way.
Oh, there are some amazing cells in here. Like really, really amazing in this area here. This is why I like acrylic pours because they're just so easy, you know. You just dump some paint on and you're done. I think, let's see here. So I like the little bit of black that's in there, in between. So I don't want to cover up all of the black. Let's see what's left in this cup here. No, I don't like that. I don't like. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cup I have here that has some paint in it and I'm going to go right up through the center here I believe to try to cover some of this that I just poured. Sit for one second while I wipe off my hands. And we have some beautiful cells begging to come out right here. Sadly, some of this has to get off of here. There's just way too much paint. And I'm going to leave it right at that. Just pouring a little bit right down the side to cover it. Alrighty, should be good. Should be able to take you in now. I'll give you a little look see. Just grab my sides here.
just need to get my back side here. side it's mostly all black so what I like to do is if it's like just black coming down the side here I'll just put some more black there to make it kind of blend in because if I do the uh, dirty pour down the side over here where 90% of it is black it'll look kind of silly to me anyway some people don't even do the sides. I'll be honest with you, depending on the pour, sometimes I don't do them either because it just looks better with the drips, but it depends on what the painting looks like for me anyway. All right, we're good. I'm gonna pop it one more time. Now I actually have a full cup left. Maybe I should do one more with you guys. Let's see here. I'll tell you what I do have that I'll do quick with you. I have these trays. They are a two piece from uh, Michael's chalkboard trays they're called they're by art minds and I got them like I said at Michael's I think they were $12 for two and they had a coupon so they're about six bucks and uh, let me do a dirty pour right in the center of that somehow and uh, then I can resin over it in a future video so give me a second to set up why not Okay, I got you zoomed in over there. Now, the trick is going to be to pour just enough paint to coat that bottom. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in some black. And I have to be careful to not get it on the sides and stuff. Because what I want to do in the end is um, resin it. I'm trying to think of the words. <laughs> now let me take off my dirty gloves. This ought to be interesting. Usually it's not a happy ending when I uh, do stuff like this on a spur. So I'm just going to spread around this black a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is just pour it out of the cup right into the center. Just trying to get that to go down a little bit. All right, here we go, wish me luck. This is probably going to be a nightmare. All right, let's start with that. Let's see what we got. Nice and slow. Right down to one corner, then over to the next. Almost into that corner, so I'm going to go the other way now getting right up to the corner but not totally in it 
because I don't want it to come back and splash the sides. So I'm literally being very careful here. I'm sorry for the horrible view, guys. There's nothing I can do right now. Okay. Wish there was a little bit more color in that. Of course, the color is now down here at the bottom, the good part. So, let's see. I'm going to do the same thing right in the corner here. Try to stretch that out now a little bit. Again, I don't know if you guys can see or not. I hope you can. Okay. Then torches really quick. I'm going to do another little mini pour right here. here. See, I don't want it to be too thick. here. And a little bit more right in here. Why not? One. All right, so let me try to toss that around a little bit. Now I'm paying attention to the side wall here because I don't want it to go up. It's pretty tricky. Should probably do the sides. with something like just the black, like fill them in first and then just do a pour right in the center and let it go where it wants.
like almost there. <laughs> almost there. Promise. Okay. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm just going to get a stick in. Just put a little bit of paint in where it's missing some spots. That's pretty cool though. Different. Very different. And now I'll let that dry. Do a coat of resin on it. Once I clean the silicone out of it. And now of course all the pretty colors that were stuck down in the bottom of the cup are coming out. So you know what that's going to do. It's going to make me want to dump it right in the center, but I can't. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm going to torch it and I'm going to leave it alone. What I am going to do up in this corner here of this other thing though that you probably can't see. I'll have to move you. I'm going to pour a little more paint on the big canvas. And then I will give you a close up of both. I really like that tray. That's going to be cool. Especially once the uh, resin gets on there. That's going to shine like a mofo. All right. Let me show you this here. This one little corner right here. I'm going to toss some paint. Just a... Uh, little ribbon that can spread out on its own. Okay. And there's a little bit more of that orangey rust color in there too, so that's good. All right. I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up now. You may see a couple of pores with these colors because I have a lot of paint left. And uh, I don't want to waste it, you know. Just helping those cells open up a little bit. That's it. I promise. I'm done. Dunny, done, done, done. I'm coming for you guys. I'm coming. Okay, here we go. Bottom right corner. I want you to really look at the cells like the colors inside of each other. I'm telling you that KY is the best stuff ever. Sorry about the shadow. 